In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to convert an HEIC file into a JPEG. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and there's also a blog post with a step-by-step -step guide available at www.everybithelps.co.uk. So for those of you who aren't aware what an HEIC or an HEIF file is, it stands for High Efficiency Image Container or File. Apple started using the image file in versions of iOS 11 and later. They used this rather than JPEG, mostly due to its smaller compressed file sizes. So if you are taking photos on an Apple device, you might find that your images are in this type of file format. Mind you, you probably won't be aware of this different file format. And to be honest with you, most of the time it doesn't really matter. However, it can cause some issues when you're trying to share the images or if you're saving them to a Mac. So here are three different ways that you can convert your file. So as you can see at the moment, I've got this HEIC file and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert it. The first way I'm gonna show you is using something called Automator, which is an app that's pre-installed onto your Mac. So if we head over to our launch pad and go to Automator, now one of the great things about using Automator is the fact that you don't have to download any extra applications or do your due diligence about certain sites that you might want to preload your images up to and you can easily convert it direct on your computer time and time again. So if we first of all just launch Automator by double clicking onto it. Okay and we're going to be selecting quick action. Then we're going to click onto the choose button in the bottom right hand side. Then you can see your cursor is flashing where it says name here. And what we're gonna do is type in copy. And the one that we want is the copy finder items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna drag that into the right hand side here. Then it's asking you where you would like your images to appear. So at the moment mine's set up the desktop. However, you can change this to a different destination if you wish. I'm just gonna click on the X besides my word copy. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in change. And the one that we're looking for is change type of images. Once you're ready to select that, you can click that and drag that underneath. So in here, you can change your type of images. So you can change them to the likes of TIFF files, PNG files, JPEGs and BMP. However, we're just gonna be looking at JPEGs for the moment. Once you're happy with that, you then go to file on the menu bar, which is at the very top. Then you can go to save. And you can then name this action. So mine's gonna be called JPEG convert and then I'm going to click on to save. So that's that action all done so what I'm going to do is head back to my file on my desktop. I'm going to right click on that. Then what I need to do is go to quick actions and my action will then appear. So you can then see that I've got this appearing here that says JPEG convert. Click onto that. It will then appear on your desktop. So I'm just going to head over to here, drag that across open up that file and that image is now appearing as a JPEG. So as you can see, it was really easy to do. One of the great things as well is about this action that you've now created is that you can use it time and time again. It will always appear under this quick actions and that action will then appear as your JPEG conversion. So iMazing have an HEIC converter. So as you can see here, it states that it's a tiny and free desktop app for Mac and PC, which lets you convert Apple's new iOS 11 and 12 photos from HEIC to JPEG or PNG. So what I've done, I've actually installed that so just so I can show you how that works. So you can obviously download that from the App Store if you wish. Okay, and then I'm gonna open up that app. Okay, and all you need to do is simply click and drag your file into that section. Then you can click on to convert. It will ask you where you wanna save that to. Okay, and it then states my conversion was successful. Because as you can see, that was a really simple and nice easy way to do it. But again, you are using that third party. So as it states here, this is powered by JPEG Mini, which is a photo optimization technology that reduces the file sizes of JPEG photographs. Again, this is another free service and you can use it for up to 50 different types of photographs. 
So what you need to do to actually convert them is you simply either drag them onto here or you can select choose. I'll just drag mine on here. Okay, and as you can see, it's now uploading, optimizing, and that image is now available and I can then just simply click on to download JPEG and it'll then start that download for me. And again, that image is now available as a JPEG for me. So that's just a few ways that you can convert Apple's HEIC image files into JPEGs. And I hope you found this useful today and if you do then please give me a like. Hit the subscribe button or please head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and tutorials. Thanks and I'll see you soon.